You have nice lips. Are you kidding me? I'm here to entertain you, and that's it. It's being disrespectful. We do have a dress code. Thanks for stopping by. If Albert doesn't change, I can't have him up there. I'll take steps to make sure he's not up there. All right, take it easy. Just breathe a little bit. I'm with you. I won't let nothing happen to you. But we're all deeply concerned about his well-being right now. Las Vegas. It'll make you richer than your wildest dreams. Then take it all away in the blink of an eye. And the staff of the legendary Binion's Casino has seen it all. They work in a city where anything goes. And each new day, you must expect the unexpected. But tonight, for the first time, what happens in Vegas won't be staying there. In a city known for its ruthlessness in hiring and firing, Binion's is famous for fostering a sense of family among its staff. For 60 years, it's earned tremendous loyalty. My dad actually worked at Binion's. It, the whole atmosphere is totally different here. So it's nice to continue the legacy that my family has already put in. Is it in my blood? Yes. Will it always be there? Yes, it will be, always. I can't see myself doing anything else. Binion's just something about it, the environment, the, the players. Everybody's awesome. We're all like a family, you know? Everybody, my boss, everybody. It's very close. The rest is all you. Thank you. Fletch is one of Binion's most popular employees. I'm a table game supervisor. I started as a casino porter, and I watch the table games now. That's OK. I got it. I got it. That's OK. I've known Fletcher for the five years I've been working at Binion's. He's a longtime employee here. Uh, as soon as I came in on swing shift, he was one of the first uh, pit guys I met. I have guests that come in and look for him, ask for him. Uh, is he around? Is he, is he is his days off? The magic of Fletch is his charisma, his style, his genuine honesty. All these things combined into what makes Fletch Fletch. I got your pills here, sir. I figured you wouldn't forget me. With Binion's support, he has survived difficult times. 17 years ago, I put away a crack pipe. 17 years ago, hallelujah, hallelujah. 17 years ago, for good. But Fletch is still coping with some serious health issues. I'm coming. I have high blood pressure. I have arthritis on both knees, both hips. I'm not a healthy person. I'm not a healthy person, um, but it's, you can't worry about what you can't control. Gentlemen, how are we doing? You everything but better you liking so far? Up on the top floor, Albert has managed Binion's famous steakhouse restaurant for four years. The steakhouse exemplifies uh, a classic old steakhouse. Established almost 40 years ago, the restaurant was a popular hangout for the Rat Pack. Albert is fiercely proud of its stellar reputation. We're all doing well with our dinners here for you. Everything prepared to your liking for you. And he's all about service. I worked uh, at Buckingham Palace, and I worked in the city of London at the American Embassy. Uh, consequently, after a couple of years, I managed several of the Kennedy residences. New Jersey-raised Glenn is a different kind of traditionalist. His expertise is casinos. Having survived the business for 30 years, Glenn knows you can't live in the past. We're really trying to evolve Binion's quickly to try and establish another loyal and younger customer base. If we leave the steakhouse behind, we leave a very significant part of Binion's behind. These two heavyweights are on a collision course. But what I find is when they come up here, they come half looped, but they show no respect for the elderly clientele. I'd like them to come round and feel on a special occasion when they don't want to get drunk and wild. Well, I think there's got to be somewhere where we can split that happy medium. We are a steak and potato house. We're not going to change what we have. That's proven. 38 years it's been here. 
to appease the kids. And I can't see us finding a common ground at present. At the steakhouse, I know what our market is. I know the customer base that I deal with. And it's not going to be uh, a bunch of kids. Just do what I ask and try to get I'll, this I'll situation. Work I'll work on it. Don't well, like the we're chances. We're going to make it happen. Yeah, right? yeah, we'll... Let me say this. It's a work in progress. Glenn's not looking for a work in progress. He wants action now. If Albert can't step up to the plate and make the changes that we need to make, I can't have him up there, and I'm going to take steps to make sure he's not up there. Where are you from, baby? I'm from here. I've been here my entire life, but I'm Argentina. Roxy, one of the casino's famous cowgirl dealers, loves the family spirit of Binion's. As a single mom, she's grateful for the support. I guess I've been lucky. I have my house and my car is paid in full, so I manage. You have nice lips. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. As a cowgirl, she's got to look her best, whatever it takes. I just like to do Botox, Juvederm, fillers, fat transfer, boobies. Roxy's focus on her looks can become an occupational hazard. She's so hot. I can't take it. Where are we at? Right here? Bust! Uh, bust, baby, bust. bust! I want to bust that right now. <laughs> OK, come on. I need a blackjack. All right, blackjack for the lady, What's my girl. Yeah, babies. Does it matter? You know you want to go out with me. No, sir, I do not mess with people on my game, especially who are rude to me. He was just pushing it and pushing it, being rude and disrespectful. You love me, huh, baby? Uh, you messing oh, up our table. Oh. Seriously? You know what? You're messing up our table. Right, we're sorry. just trying to we come play cards, OK? Why would you do that? Yeah. Oh, I'm splitting that. Yeah. Roxy tolerates the loudmouth. But when other players get involved, she has a much bigger problem to deal with. We're going back to the room later. You like fat guys? Why are you trying to pick up the, why are you trying to pick up the deal? It's not necessarily fat. It's how you treat me. Oh, really? Right now, you're disrespectful. Are oh, those boobies real? Hey, you messed up our tables. Oh, bring him. Oh, oh my god. Take his money. You got to. That's Garvin. your third, that's All your third part. I'm good, baby. No, no, no. I hate the word good. I'm fine. I'm, oh, would you I'm recommend fine. Like one? Like I would hit it. I'll hit that shit all day. Watch it. You know you want to get down. No, I don't. Why would you two think I would want to get down with you? Are you kidding me? No, no. I'm here to entertain you, and that's it. You know what? She's, trying to, she's trying to do her job here. You're just being disrespectful. No, seriously. Are you married? No, sweetie, I'm not. Oh, you're single. What are you doing later? Not you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Very positive. Chuck. When I have the drunk, sometimes like, I'll mess with them back, but I have to put up with it. That's the bad part. You're being disrespectful. No, no seriously. Being disrespectful. Yeah, you know, no, nice really, I'm sorry. No. You got a nice rack. You know what? <laughs> seriously? Seriously, seriously. Seriously, Chuck, no. Try being nicer for a I second. I don't know. Huh? This guy's being rude. This is too rude. You, you messed up sugar. our table. Sugar. You messed up our table. Oh, sorry, sugar. You don't want any we're of me. You don't want any of me. You don't want any of me. Get the out of here. You're messing up our freaking table. You're done. You're done. The girl was just trying to do her job. Then you got this over here, just going off and just being very disrespectful, almost harassing her. I just couldn't handle that anymore. I couldn't do it. Regardless what age or what I do for a living, you should know better. You do not talk to a female like that. You know, he just pushed that last button because he was going at it for a while. But it just shows how fast it can escalate, how fast a good time, and all of a sudden, they cross that line, and unless we keep him in check on the line, and he can, once they get further and further on the line, it's exactly what happened. Thank you for being there for me. All right, let me just shut her down. You should know better. Everybody, you know, was brought up with manners. Do not talk to me like that. I do not tolerate that. Across the casino floor, security has received an emergency call. And for the Binion staff, it's personal. It's Fletch. What's going on? Coach dizzy spells. Blacking in and out. So, so are you just feeling dizzy and faint? That's all. No, he's dizzy and fainting. And okay. what's the last thing? Uh, 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 I'm having a sensation right now. All right, take it easy. Fletch's supervisor Mark 
and Security Lieutenant Harris try to keep him calm as they wait for the paramedics. You're doing good, Fletch. Oh my God, what's happening to me? No, no. Hey, Fletch, you got to relax now, bud. Relax, breathe. Three notes out your mouth. All right, don't, don't, don't worry about anybody around looking. Don't worry about that right now, OK? I'm with you. I'm going to let nothing happen to you. You know me, Fletch, OK? You're doing fine. I'm not. Well, right now you are. You're with me. We got help coming for you. We'll get I never you. felt this way before. All right, very much. Hi, guys. What's going on tonight, I sir? Night-headed, man. So you've been yeah. feeling dizzy for a while. Like for a few it's days. It's coming and going. Okay. Episodes every 20 minutes. And okay. Every 15 or 20 minutes. Fletch is very well loved and liked in this whole department, on the whole floor. To see him in a situation like this, it, it hurts all of us. It hurts all of us. So we're all deeply concerned about his well-being right now. Where are you leaving? I'm walking. Fletch is losing consciousness. The paramedics need to react quickly. They need to get him into emergency right away. Gentlemen, good evening to you. Nice to have you with us. Back at the steakhouse, manager Albert explains the new marketing strategy to his staff. They are looking here in our marketing department to accommodate the younger groups. And as you know, when we do have younger groups here, we don't have that much success. They come in drunk, uh, order, split dinners, get rowdy, and then we throw them out. I'm from the old school, even though I look only like 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause, please. Thank you very much. When three customers arrive at the restaurant, the instruction to welcome the young crowd is tested. Hi, how are you doing this evening? What's going on, man? Excellent. Uh, we have a dress code. Really? Yeah. Dress code? Yeah. We require that you have uh, no tank tops. No tank oh, tops? Really? really need sleeves? I mean, we're just eat dinner? Yeah. We're really in a rush. Sleeves and arms. Sleeves. sleeves and what? Arms that come out arms. of the sleeves, yeah. I need a long sleeve shirt? No. But there's an excellent shirt shop downstairs, $5 a shirt. You go down one, so you turn... So I have to go buy a shirt just to eat dinner here? No, you don't have to buy the shirts. If you don't like it, you don't buy it. But we do have a dress code. All right. Thanks for stopping by, now less than. Thank you. I think we're going to open a pool here. Despite his job being on the line, Albert sticks to his principles. It's a risky strategy. The biggest challenge that I do face is to get Albert to get out of the old mindset. Things aren't the way they used to be. <laughs> but the boys are back. Gentlemen, how are you? Good. Good. Excellent. Welcome. Don't you feel much better in the shirts now? Yeah, we look good. So. Not really. Yeah, that's good. OK, we've got a spot for you, gentlemen. Have I come around this way for you? Thanks. It's not a complete transformation, but at least it's a start, a bit closer to what Glenn was asking for. I'll send out a waiter for you. Thanks very much. Jenna has been a cowgirl for three years, but despite Vegas being the wedding capital of America, finding the right guy hasn't been easy. Vegas is horrible dating. It's just, guys are very creepy here. They, they, they stalk you. You go on one date and they think you're gonna get married. That's not the case. But finally, she might have found the one. For my mom and daddy, I'm pretty excited to meet you. Pretty much all of my family is. When I met Josh, I wasn't looking for a relationship. It just, it happened. Josh is, he's amazing. He's perfect. For Josh's birthday, Jan has invited him to Binion's for the first time. <laughs> Hmm. I'm interested in, in, in Jana. Eventually, she started to tell me about a little bit more about her job. You know, I, I started telling her more about my job. I'm in the Air Force right now, so I'm just kind of working out here. So far, it's worked out. I think her job's awesome. I'm really behind her. It's great. But glitzy Vegas puts big dreams in the minds of young lovers. How about I just like 
save all my money up and I just go to Binion's and I just like throw it all down on, you know, to the crap table. You don't know how to play cards. I can learn. You should practice throwing dice. All right. We're going to make this money so we don't have to work and go on vacation. No, we don't have to go on vacation. We're going to live the vacation. Vacation is going to be our job. Yes. Jana chooses the most romantic spot at Binion's to give Josh his birthday Ooh, gift. This is nice. Yeah. There's like nothing up here. This is awesome. Look. Oh, wow. It's like old Vegas style. I like it. It is old Vegas. This is cool. I got you a present. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I need these in my life. It's scary, but I like it. It could be love, yes. You're so beautiful. So amazing. Thank you. I'm so glad you're in my life now. On the casino floor, the cowgirls, supervisors, and security cameras are constantly monitoring unusual gambling patterns. It's an ongoing battle to catch card counters and cheats. With fewer cards in play, single deck blackjack is a card counter's easiest target. Glenn's been tipped off about a gambler who's acting suspiciously. Glenn Casale, director of Andy, casino operations. Andy, what happened? I'm, I'm sitting here playing at your pit. Mm -hmm. I went from a lower bet to a higher bet. Okay. And as soon as she saw that I had that much money out there, she stopped and went to a shovel. And but how many hands had you played at that time? One. One hand. OK, let me talk to the supervisor, see what I can find out. All right. What's up? Do you know anything about something that happened on this game with this gentleman or something? Yeah, he goes from uh, $10 to like $80 to $100, and the dealers are told to shuffle up. When a player radically increases the value of his bets, it raises flags. By shuffling the deck, anyone counting cards has to start from scratch. This gambler feels he's been called out for cheating. OK, OK, yeah. well, that, that solves the problem yeah, right Yeah, exactly, there. yeah. I tried to explain it to him, you know, but. OK. They shuffled when he increases bet more than five units. And that's, that's our normal policy and procedure on a single deck blackjack game. And it's actually to protect the games from the likes of card counters. All right, well, I, I understand what happened now. Any time on a single deck blackjack game, we have a situation where a player goes more than five units the dealers are supposed to be shuffling. Uh, if you went from $10 to $80, that would cause her to shuffle the cards. Well, I was informed that, you know, it makes me suspicious. You, you understand well, what I'm saying? you moving your money like that makes me suspicious. You understand? She already went to go throw the card, and they pulled back, and that makes me suspicious. Director of Casino Operations Glenn is dealing with a disgruntled customer. You moving your money like that makes me suspicious. You understand? When you're moving your money from $10 to $80 on I've a been couple hands. I my money for, for five hands that, that way. Oh, OK. I was really upset. I can understand that. Due to the fact that nobody, nobody ever said anything until this point. Now, how about if I get you a little something to eat or something? You hungry? Yeah, that'd be fine. No I problem. appreciate your time. OK, my pleasure. Thank you. If you're going to be card counting or cheating, you're on top of your, your game. You're not drinking, you're not carrying a beer around and stuff like that. So I, I didn't really feel this, this gentleman was a threat to the games. Two for uh, food, drinks, whatever, $50 max for the uh, bullpen. OK? I, you know, My pleasure. It, it was just I, you know, yeah, it was it was a misunderstanding. Is, uh, I don't you. think that he was trying to in any way compromise the game. I think that's probably just his betting styles. So it's always a very fine line that we walk in the casinos where we're trying to protect the games, but make sure that the customers are taken care of as well. Hey, how you doing? I know we had a, a slight a misunderstanding earlier, but I'm ready to get back with you. I was just doing my job. <laughs> yeah, it's all in, a, all in a day's work, right? The gambler is back at the table and ready to pick up where he left off. Thank you. Fletch's last shift at the casino ended in emergency. Being in that stretcher, being in that, in that situation. 
Doesn't get much worse. Now after two weeks, he's been given the all clear to go back to the job he loves. I miss Binions. I miss going, and I miss the people. I'm looking forward to it. That, that's part of the fun. Feels great. This is the only way I can get back in shape. You know, I can't get in the flow staying at home. I got to be in it. I got to be in the river to get wet. And here we go. Folks, good evening. How we doing? Everybody good? So I want to welcome Fletch back. Everyone was uh, very concerned about your well-being and uh, very glad to see that you're back. Mark will always ask you every day how you doing and how you feeling. You really feeling all right? Make sure you arthritis, care, so. but ain't nothing, none of the sickness. OK, yeah. OK. All right, man, I'll see you on the floor. OK, man. All right, you take it easy. I'm back. Now you know I'm back. OK. <laughs> He's a good man. He'll make it. He'll be all right. What's going on, man? Fine, fine. Glad you're back. It was very hard for me seeing Fletch go through his emergency. Um, you never want to see one of your friends uh, or coworkers go, go through it. Take it easy. Seeing Fletch back is awesome. Um, you know, I'm happy he's here. Um, he's been here a long time. He's, he's a normal face and a regular face in, in the pits, and it wouldn't be the same without Fletcher. Well, if you need anything else, Fletch, let us know. We're here for you, bud. Be blessed, man. All right, Fletch. Thanks, bro.